<laughs> Claire? Oh. You okay? Hey, Henry. Yeah, I'm okay. Everything's fine. Yeah, it looks like it. Everything seems really great. Just another stupid fight with Zach. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, well, I think we're breaking up. Oh, that's too bad. Let's talk about something else. Your graduation trip. Don't you and Lily leave soon? Mm-hmm. Just one more week. And then we will be wearing berets and sipping chocolat chat in Paris. That sounds parfait. OK. <laughs> You always know how to cheer me up. <sighs> High school graduation is this weekend. I just realized that with my trip and, you know, college right after, we might not be able to talk like this for a while. But I still have so many secrets and stories to tell you. Well, you better let it all out and tell me everything now, because there is a very good chance I will stay in Europe forever. from the heart. Dear Claire, I have known you for most of my life. And in all those years of friendship, I haven't been completely honest with you. Since this is the last week of high school, I think it's finally time for me to tell you the truth. I remember the first time I saw you down to the smallest detail. It was the day you moved in next door and I watched you sit on the front porch cheering on the movers. I remember that like it was yesterday. But for some strange reason, I can't remember when I fell in love with you. It's almost like I've always loved you even before we met. And I was just waiting for you to walk into my life. These feelings have always been there. They've never gone away. And I don't think they ever will. Hey, man. Picked up your yearbook when I got mine. Oh, oh thanks. Look what Stacy wrote in the. You coming to class? Uh, not yet. I'll meet you there. All right. Later. Uh... I'm pretty sure you don't feel the same way, but I think it's time to let it all out and tell you everything. Maybe it's back. Sincerely. <sighs> Love. Henry! Hey! Hey! What's going on? I just... I... Hey, you. Hi. <laughs> oh, hey, Zach. Not to be weird, but didn't you guys break up? No. No, that was just a silly fight. Uh, was there something you needed? My mom was just wondering if your family could come over sometime for dinner next week. I know you'll be gone already, but... Um, sure. I can ask them. Oh, cool. Thanks. I gotta go. I'll see you. Okay, uh, I'm done here. Are you ready? I have been ready for days, Tom. Your computer's still on and you have a game of solitaire open. Happy? Yeah. All right, uh, Tyler, see you in two weeks. Yeah, hold on the four bus. All right. Oh, and uh, don't forget about the tile. I got it covered. Enjoy your break. 
Oh, I will. Can't wait to chill in the old homestead. Oh, you mean my mom's house? Yes, your mom's house. I can't believe you ate my peanuts, Tom. Back off, man. I'm starving. Oh, this place hasn't changed. It never does. I haven't been here in like five years. Been what? Two years for you? Right? Yeah, I just about. There's my boy! I am so glad you're home. Yeah, are you kidding? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Turn into big 5-0. Oh, do not remind me. Tom, how are you? Fantastic. Bed. <laughs> Every time I'm in this room, I feel like I'm 16 all over again. Ah, oh, the memories. All the homework. All your dateless Saturdays. Late nights. Playing video games. I used to shout out this window to Claire. We tried sending notes to each other on paper airplanes. Definitely did not work, so <laughs> we just yelled. All right, Claire. How long has it been since you've seen her? A few years, I guess. Help me out and set the table while I finish up dinner. Yeah, hey, Mom, did someone move into the Goodsters' old house? Yeah, Claire did a couple of months ago, just for a little while. Thought I told you. Uh, no, I thought that her parents moved out. Well, they did, but, you know, her grandmother originally owned the house, and she got really sick, and so Claire moved back to take care of her before she just passed away. I could have sworn I told you. I think I would have remembered. Huh. You know, my mind is actually like a steel trap. If you want me to teach you some things, I can. Saved by the bell. That is probably Claire and Lily right now. I invited them over for dinner. I just thought it would be really fun for you guys to all catch up. Wait, now? Yeah. Can you get it for me, please? No. Come on. <laughs> hey. Henry. Oh, my gosh. Look at you. So grown up and... A little bit of man stuff. No, not really, but yeah, yeah, thank you. Look at you. I'm sorry. Mom, how are you? Oh, thank you. Oh, you guys remember Lily? Yeah. Hello. Hi. It's me, Tom. King. We had um, half a semester of biology, actually. Well, you really do have a good memory. I told you it's a steel trap. And why only half a semester? <clears throat> well, I got I got sick when I, I got my midterm back. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You're the guy who threw up and fainted when you failed. He's the one. Uh, <laughs> I am so <laughs> glad your girl's good. Oh, oh, thank this you so much. Out perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, come in, come in, come in. So come on in. I'm the guy that throws up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom. <laughs> Don't take it personally. Lily doesn't remember a lot of people from high school. She was a little too busy with her face in a book. I'm sorry. I preferred the classics to our classmates. Oh, well, that's my sweet Lou. Hmm. Always too busy reading the romantics. <laughs> hey, Claire. I'm really sorry about your grandma. My mom just oh. told me exactly. Thanks, guys. You're sweet. Remember that time she made us play Cinderella just to clean the kitchen? Yes. You made a beautiful fairy godmother. <laughs> oh. <sighs> OK. I want to hear all about your photography, Claire. Wow, you're a photographer now? Yeah. Wow, that's great. Lily, what brought you back to town? Um, well, I moved back after college, and I now own a boutique flower shop. It's called The Secret Admirer. It's just off Main Street. And it's beautiful. Wow. I go there all the time. You really do have the best lilacs in town. Thank you, Mrs. Sampson. That's so sweet of you. And she personally writes every love note that everybody wants to send with their flowers. And she is really good. I have to come to dinner here more often. Please just keep showering me in compliments. It's working. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> That's really great. I had no idea you did that. Yeah, well, you know, you might know all this if you bothered to keep in touch. Excuse me? I think you heard me. Uh, last time I checked, uh, friendship was a two-way street, so you're just as much to blame as I am. Uh, at least I tried. I even looked you up online and everything. You look me up? Mm-hmm. Henry meets my dad, right? Uh, we're out in the backyard. There's bumblebees everywhere. And he is following me around the garden. Jason, please. I remember your voice.
I'm the old soul that doesn't use social media. We should get coffee tomorrow morning. I live next door, actually, in case you forgot. Oh, could you write down the address? I have a really bad sense of direction. Oh, <laughs> Henry. <sighs> Good night, Henry. Good night. Oh. Uh... My goodness. See you tomorrow. Thank you. What you looking at, man? Tom. Uh, let's go. We should unpack. Yeah. yeah. You unpack already? Oh, yeah. No way. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, there's Lily. Gosh, she's always been cute, huh? Yeah? Why didn't you ask her out? class clown and the valedictorian like that would have ever worked <laughs> but you're employed now yeah you're right grown up had a good job i'm a stand-up guy what is this i don't know dear claire I've known you for most of my life and in those years of friendship uh can you just don't read that i remember the first time i saw you down to the smallest detail. Hey, I remember like it was yesterday. For some strange reason, can't remember when I fell in love with you. Hey, give me the... Dude, this is a love letter to Claire. Yes, it is. Well, I knew you liked her, but I didn't know you felt like this. Why didn't you ever tell me? I never told anyone. Not even Claire. Why do you think you have trouble expressing yourself? I did express myself. That's yeah, why I it down. Yeah, sure you did. In a letter that was never sent. It's not expressing yourself, my man. She was the popular girl in high school. She never would have gone out with me. It's a stupid high school crush. It's probably for the better that I didn't tell her. So let's just forget about it. You still love her. No, I don't. Just whatever. I'm going to bed. It's like 8.30. I'm jet lagged. It's ridiculous. Good night. Whatever. Sleep tight, pumpkin. Hey, Mom. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm just going through all these photos. Look at this. First day of kindergarten. What a handsome young man. Yes, a totally <laughs> handsome young man. So cute. Look at this of you and Claire. How cute are you two together? Seems like ages ago. It does. Okay, who is that? And what are you wearing? Yeah, I know. This is, well, this is Edith. And this was sort of our sorority signature. We would just wear these crazy hats to parties. And you lost the bet. You and I zebra. lost the bet. I got the zebra. <laughs> exactly. She's in a lot of pictures with you. Yeah, she was my best, dearest friend. What happened? Oh, we just kind of, you know, fell out of touch. Why is that? Well... Because of your dad, actually. Edith had dated your dad first. But it wasn't very serious. They had just dated for a couple of weeks. And about six months later, your dad was just so charming and fun and sweet. And, and we fell in love. And Edith and I got in a big fight about it because she was hurt and she was mad. And I felt so terrible. That's really surprising. Well, why is that surprising? I mean, relationships come and go. They, people change. Oh, no, no, no. That dad had that effect on women. He was charming, and look at him. He was handsome and sexy. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, these photos are really all I have left of him. And I miss him. <laughs> I miss him, too. <laughs> I can't believe this place hasn't changed. 
It's the same shops, the same people. I know. I love it. I love it. I think this place is so special. It's, you know, a smaller, quieter life, but it feels so much cozier than downtown LA. Well, maybe you should just enjoy it while you're here. That's true. And it might actually take a while to find a buyer. I still need to get that house in shape. There's a lot of repairs that need to get done on it. I could totally help you out. Oh, that's right. Your mom mentioned you own a construction company. Uh, but I wouldn't want you to work on your vacation. Oh, no, no, please. I'd love to help. Mm, I don't know. I really don't want you to feel used. OK, hey, let's do a trade. I will help you out with the house, and you help me out with my mom's part. There's still loads to be done, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I love doing that stuff. So you have a deal, sir. Oh. It's official. We'll draft a contract after oh, this. Oh, OK. <laughs> Hey. Hi. How's it going? I just thought I'd come check out the shop. Everybody spoke so highly of it last night. <laughs> it's really nice. Thank you. So what got you into the flower business? Well, when I wasn't reading, I was usually out in the garden with my mom. Most of the time, I'm just helping people find ways to show their loved ones that they care using these bouquets of flowers and also expressive notes. So this is what you were talking about last night at dinner? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> my first and only love. I wake filled with thoughts of you, and I ask myself every moment if this happiness is not a dream. Wow. You're a really good writer. The language reminds me of a favorite romantic poet of mine. Oh. Who's that? Lord Brian. Lord Brian. Of course. His work is it's, it's great. Read it all the time. Then you should probably know that his name is George Gordon Byron. You got me. I don't know a whole lot about this romance stuff, but I'd like to learn more about it. Maybe you could share some of your favorites with me. Like coffee or something? Maybe tonight? Tonight? Yeah. Well, I will probably be working tonight. I usually like to keep an assortment of cards on hand, and I need to replenish a bit. Maybe I could help you with that. I thought you just said you don't know about this romance stuff. I could give it a shot. Uh, it's a very nice offer. But after a long day of managing the shop, I think I just need to get these done um, before it gets too late. Yeah. Maybe another time, then. Maybe. I thought we could walk through the house and make a list of repairs that need to get done. Sounds good. Uh, first thing on the list, this door jam needs to be replaced. Mm. According to this data, you stopped growing right about here. Oh, hilarious. That's when we stopped measuring. Come on. So this fence needs to be fixed. One of those slats is broken there. Oh, man, didn't you break this when you fell into it? Yep. Yeah, we were playing tag and you tripped. Uh, no. We were playing zombies and you pushed me. Okay, maybe we should leave the scene of the crime before you injure yourself again. Yeah, before you, you know, get the urge to just push me again. Don't, don't, don't. And here is another area of the house that little Henry broke. The front steps, third grade, playing tag. Winning tag. Yeah, well, either way. That's all we had to do? Yep. Well, you're certainly earning your keep around here. I'll bill you later. All right, sure.
Thanks so much again for doing this. Of course. You want to get started early tomorrow? Yes, that would be great. Um, I also wanted to talk to you about your mom's party. Uh, I have taken care of the invitations and the catering. So we just need decorations and... Oh, we definitely need more tables and chairs. Okay. Uh, great. What's the theme? Susan's 50th birthday bash. You don't have a theme? <laughs> Every good party has a theme. Like 80s night or Great Gatsby. Halloween or oh, Fourth of July. Stop. You're just naming holidays. It's weird. Look, you know what? We need to brainstorm. Uh... You know what? The energy here is no good. We need some place where we can clear our heads. Ah, come with me. Okay, where are we going? Let's see. Hey. What are you doing here? I thought if you were still working that I could maybe help. You know, with the, the writing and everything. Really? Um... It did not seem like your area of expertise. Yeah, well, after I got home, I uh, came up with some stuff. Oh, did you? Yeah, I mean, I figured you got all these cards that are supposed to be written by men. I figured you should have something that's actually written from the male perspective. What do you have in mind? <clears throat> I remember the first time I saw you. I remember it like it was yesterday. But for some strange reason, I can't remember when I fell in love with you. It's almost like I've always been in love with you, even before we met. And I was just waiting for you to walk into my life. These feelings have always been there. They haven't gone away, and I don't think they ever will. You wrote that? Yep. All me. I guess I'm just a little more romantic than you thought. It's actually pretty late, and I have to be up early in the morning. So. No, I also, I should get going. Also. <laughs> Good night, Lily. Good night, Tom. We really need to sneak into our high school to come up with party ideas? Yes. It's very peaceful when no one else is around. It can be inspiring. It's inspiring anxiety. <laughs> well, it builds character. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Gross. Yeah, it's... Uh, yes. It's making my vision go bad. I need my glasses again. Nerd. Let me help. Don't want you tripping and breaking another set of stairs. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> so what? You want to wander the halls and talk of memories past? Memories past? Not exactly my plan here, Jane Austen. No, we need to relax and let the creative juices flow. That's what I do with my photos. I go to a special place and let the inspiration come to me. Isn't that your old hangout? He remembered. <sighs> this place hasn't changed a bit. I know, I love it. It's nice knowing that some things never change. Got any ideas yet? Since I've been home, all she's been doing is looking at her photos. Oh. Well, then why don't we decorate her place with them? Yeah, we can put them up in the backyard, hang them with some Christmas lights. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Oh, and, and we can even print one out and put it on her cake. That does not sound awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you should have stopped there. I know, I know, I know. But see, I told you, this place is perfect for brainstorming. Hey, you. Rich! Hi! <laughs> what are you doing here? I came to surprise you and take you to dinner. <laughs> that is so sweet. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, Rich, this is Henry, an old friend and uh, next door neighbor. Uh, Henry, this is Rich, my boyfriend. Nice to meet you. Oh, great. To meet you as well. <laughs> um, 
So I should get going. Okay. Uh, we can meet up tomorrow about the repairs and the, the party planning. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one. Uh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How was that for surprise? Great. Completely unexpected. Oh, I am so glad you came here. Oh, yeah, my meeting was canceled. I want to see you. So I took the drive, and here I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have missed you. Oh, mm -hmm. I missed you too. Mwah. How's everything going with the house? Great. Henry actually owns a construction company and has been helping me with the repairs. Now, I know you want to take your time, but I really got to sell this place so we can finally start our life together. Yeah. I hate long distance. I barely see you. Exactly. Which is, I'm going to start researching realtors. You don't need to do that. I'm not even ready for a realtor. I'm just trying to help. I can handle this, Rich. You know, it's my family home. It's my responsibility. I'm just taking my time, you know? There are a lot of memories here. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'll stop pushing. Okay. You want to grab some dinner? Sure. Like right now? Yes. Well, come on. I'm hungry. Okay. Let's do this. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> Who, Claire? Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? Nothing. Just checking work emails. Wait, she's got a boyfriend. Yeah. And you were right. Just seeing her again has brought back all these, like, old feelings. <sighs> and we were getting along so well. I mean, I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought that I actually had a shot. I'm sorry, man. She never even mentioned him. Why would she? Wait, you never said you had feelings for her, so... If you're in love with somebody, don't you at least mention their name? You've hung out with her, what, a couple of times? I think you need to let this go. You said yourself, this is, what, a crush from 10 years ago? <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. Just give it some time, and then you'll get over her, you know? Or you'll find something wrong with her, like she doesn't own a TV. You're still upset about that girl. Who doesn't own a TV? I'm just saying. Um, excuse me, miss. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. You are very welcome. I'm so glad you're here right now. I have something to tell you. What's up? Mm -hmm. So Tom comes by the shop last night. Really? Yeah. And he wants to help me write my romance card. Tom? Uh-huh. He was great. Like, really good. <laughs> Romantic and sentimental and poignant. Mind blown. And it's really nice to be surprised by someone. I have to admit, he's not who I thought he was. <laughs> God, I wish someone would do that for me. That wasn't rich romantic. Yeah, but he's never really written me a love letter or a poem. Yeah, I just think for someone to sit down and take the time to write out their feelings and express themselves in such an honest, vulnerable way, I would love that. Yeah, it was pretty special. <laughs> okay. What did it say? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, it's good. Uh, I need your help. Yeah, just okay. stand right here for a second. Okay. <sighs> There we go. Now it's up <laughs> to date. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a layer of protection on it so that the, uh, the marks and the date, they won't fade. So now you can take the memories to your new home or wherever it is you go next. Henry! <sighs> Portable memories, I love that, thank you. I don't suppose there's anything else around here that I could just take with me? What do you mean? <sighs> Nothing. Forget Claire, it. Come on. We're old friends. I know when you're not fine, I always have. I'm just not sure if selling the house is the right choice for me. Really? Yeah, you know, I thought I was ready to move on. But after living here for a little while and all these memories are flooding back. I don't know, it just feels like home. Well, you don't have to sell. Yeah, but Rich wants me to move to the city so that we can finally, you know, take the next step. I think you should just talk to him. I think he'll understand. You need to tell him how you feel now because 
If you don't, you'll end up regretting it later. Trust me, I know. You're such a great friend. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you know that your BFF is totally crushing on my BFF? Well, that's just Tom being Tom. I don't think so. He wooed her with romantic prose. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, he said all these things about how he's known her almost his whole life and remembers the first time he saw her, but doesn't remember when he fell in love with her and that the feelings were always there. He was just waiting for her to walk into his life like crazy. Wow, all right. Tom! Hey, honey. I think Tom's upstairs. What's wrong? Uh, I gotta talk to him. Hey, buddy, what's up? I'll tell you what's up. You read the letter that I wrote for Claire to Lily, and then you pretended that it was for her? Okay, look, I... Oh! Mm. This better be good. Look, I wanted to impress Lily, okay? I didn't want to think I was some class clown who could be taken seriously. So I thought it would be better if I read her some romantic words of my own. You're lying to her. No, I'm not. That's... By omitting the truth, you are lying. Well, then, you're lying to Claire. No, I'm not. By not telling her how you feel, you're omitting the truth or whatever you just this said. This isn't about me, Tom. You're right. But I think it worked. I mean, Lily seemed to really like what I told her. And, you know, after I took the letter... Oh, you took the letter? <laughs> Where's the letter, Tom? Um... It's, uh... No, this isn't funny. I'm not joking. Uh, hey, Mom, when you were cleaning upstairs, you didn't happen to come across a letter or a paper with some writing on it, did you? Kind of right. Uh, it was a letter that... But you'd know if you'd seen it. Do you need help looking for it? No, thank you. Okay. We have to find that letter. It's got to be around here somewhere, okay? We'll find it. I mean, we have to before somebody else stumbles across it, especially... Claire! Yes, Claire, exactly. Why do you have to interrupt me all the time? If the letter's swimming around in here somewhere, she cannot be here. I'm going to distract her. You find it. All right, all right. Hey, Claire. Hey, hey. <laughs> Is everything okay? You seemed really flustered, and then you just ran off without any explanation. Uh, flustered? I seemed flustered? Yeah, and you still do. Well, that's weird. I mean, why would I be flustered? Oh... Uh... I think I know what's going on. You do? Yeah. And you really shouldn't worry so much. The party's gonna be great. And we still have a full week. You're right, you're right. It's the party. I think that I would feel better, calmer, if we uh, if we went just took care started. of some things right now. Right now, yeah. Let's just but go, we probably... uh, oh, let's go get away from the house. And... Um, okay. If we wanted to throw her, you know, kindergarten party. If, if no one's dancing, <laughs> we can start with that. Throw them at their feet. <laughs> like there is little pistols. <laughs> you know, I think we have everything. Yeah. Great. Oh, uh, did you need wrapping paper for your present? Present? Please do not tell me that you forgot to get your one and only mom a birthday gift. I thought planning the party was a gift. Oh, wow. You really don't know moms. Or women. Uh, maybe we could... Oh, do something with the photos she's been looking at. We could digitize them. That yeah. way they won't get lost or damaged, and she can look at them whenever and wherever she wants. Yeah, yeah. And we could play, like, a slideshow during the party. And I could take some portrait shots of you to add to the collection. That's perfect. Great. Is it? Where can I go? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Careful with my flowers. What are you doing? 
doing? Uh, just looking for you. Really? Because I'm not under there. What's going on? Just wanted to talk. Huh. About? Your um, cards. I really liked the last one you shared. Really? I, I came up with some more. Let's hear it. What? Let's hear it. Um, your eyes are endless. My eyes are endless. Endless black holes. Black holes? Of beauty. Uh-huh. You, you didn't like it? Uh, it was just, uh, different than the last one. You know, I, actually, I need to, I need to go, so I'll, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, I was looking for you. I just uh, got a room at the, um... Well, it's the hotel down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd stay close and, until we sell the house. That's great! Uh, yeah, sorry, Henry and I were just out shopping for his mom. Oh. Yeah, here. Thanks. Okay. Great, and, um, I will... See you tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, if you guys want to cut through right here, it saves you, like, 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it saved us a ton of time. <laughs> All right, good night. We used to do it as kids. Okay. Oh, look! Hmm? What is it? It shows how my height has changed over the years. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Henry took it off in one piece so that I could keep it. Why would you want to keep it? It's just an old piece of wood. It's sentimental. Don't you have any memories or keepsakes from your childhood home? No, not really. <laughs> Houses are they're just things. You know? What's important is who you're with. Don't you think? I think we need to talk about the house. Excellent. That's why I'm here. It is? I found a realtor and she's coming by to see the place. I thought you weren't going to uh, push anymore. I'm helping. I appreciate you trying to help, but this house means a lot to me. It's not just some random building that I'm trying to sell. Claire. We talk about the distance constantly and how it's taking a toll on our relationship. But if this continues, we could go weeks without seeing each other. Is that what you want? No, no. I'll make more of an effort to come to you. It's not about that. It... Think about your career. You want to just throw away all this, this hard work? If you really want to become a famous photographer, you got to get out of the suburbs, move downtown in the arts district, Uh, just one more invitation to get out. Well, if you run out of stamps and you need more, they're right there in my address book.
Claire Goodster. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, Bree Moore, Westside Real Estate Agency. Rich Bradford said you'd be expecting me. Oh, he did, did he? Can I come in? Sure. Uh, what did you say your name was again? Bree Moore. Bree Moore, the realtor? That is... It's very catchy. Let's see what we're working with. This house is in a great neighborhood, near an excellent high school and a well-known hospital. Only minutes to the center of town, so there's no issue there. Are these the original hardwood floors? Yes, I, I, I think so. Rich mentioned that some work is being done to the place. I have a friend in construction who's been helping me with some minor repairs. Figured it'd be the right thing to do if I decide to sell. If. I'm still not sure. I understand. I've had many clients who have trouble selling a place that means something to them. This isn't just a house. It's a home. Exactly. And it's my job to make sure that this home, one that means so much to you, goes to a family who will love and treasure it as much as you do. Thank you. Can I see the rest? Sure. Great. <laughs> Keep it out of the street. Hello? Edith? Yes? Hi, uh, I'm Henry Sampson. Susan Sampson is my mother. Lovely. Uh, you're a very handsome young man. Thanks. These are your grandkids? Oh, yes. This is Ariana and Sergio. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Go play, kids. Is everything all right? Yeah. Her 50th birthday's coming up, and I'm throwing a party for her. I just wanted to hand deliver your invitation. Make sure you got it. Well, that's very kind, but you didn't have to come all that way. Oh, it was really no trouble at all. It would mean a lot to her if you came. Tell you what, tell your mom if she truly wants me to be there that, uh, you know, she should give me a call. I'll let her know. Take care. Take care, guys. You too, Henry. Henry, the, uh, Front steps, the back steps, this fence. Great job, man. Your hard work is really gonna help us sell this place in no time. Thanks. Yeah, I actually wanted to talk to you. Okay. I, uh, I came across something the other night. Outside in the uh, bushes. A letter. I think it belongs to you. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's written a long, long time ago, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, way, 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 like way, way back. Why was it in the bushes? Uh, Tom and I, we were going through some of my old stuff. We might have dropped it when we threw out the trash. It was just a stupid high school crush. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I had a crush on a different girl in high school, like, every day. Really? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're just friends. Nothing more. Well, that's, that's good to hear. Because as her friend, I need you to do something for me. Yeah, what's that, Rich? Well, before you came back into town, Claire was really gung-ho about selling this house and moving downtown with me. But now, she's second-guessing our plans. Sounds like a discussion you should have with Claire. <laughs> Don't you want what's best for Claire? Of course I do. Great. <laughs> then we're on the same page. Hey, hey wait. Uh, can I have the letter back? Oh, I don't, I don't have it on me. But I'll, I'll get it back to you next time. Um, well, well, uh, you're not going to tell Claire, right? I don't worry. It's between you and me. Hey, 
buddy. Got some great news. Your words are telling me one thing, but your tone is saying something else. Someone found the letter. And that someone, you listening? It's Rich. Um, no, Rich. I really thought I had a shot. She seems happy with Rich, and she's moving on. I don't want to get in the way of that. Once you get back to New York, I'm sure you'll forget all about her, you know? Out of sight, out of mind. I shouldn't be spending so much time with her. Every day, it's the house and the party. It's just Claire, Claire. Claire! Hey, guys. <laughs> What's going on? Just uh, having a beer. Cool. Well, I'm waiting for Lily. I'm just going to grab a table. Do you want to join? We'll meet you there. OK, great. Dude, I was just saying I'm spending too much time with her. Hey, no. Lily's here. So? My last talk with her went poorly. You can do this on your own. Listen, just have one drink, okay? If you're not there, I might bail. Fine. It's one drink. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey. We, we were just coming to join you guys. Perfect. <laughs> Listen, I, I just wanted to apologize for... Blah. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. So, we're okay. I'm just a little confused. It's been a really, really hard week. Sure. <laughs> so even if you Three. do go. <laughs> you made it. Look who I ran into while I was here. Yep, a complete coincidence. <laughs> well, uh, sorry I'm late. <laughs> I was just talking to Bree. She wants to bring people in as soon as Henry's done with the back steps. Who's Bree? Oh, Bree Moore. She's the realtor that Rich sprung on me. Bree Moore. The realtor? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine the jingle she could have? I can't not imagine it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't mean to spring her onto you, honey. I just wanted you to, to meet her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Henry, did you tell Claire about what we were talking about earlier? What do you mean? When we were back at the house. How Henry's... Hard work is really going to help us sell the house, and how thankful I am that he's helping you move on. Henry's been doing a great job. You know, I, uh, actually, I think I need to get going. No, why? Come on, stay. Yeah, no, I'm tired, uh, and there's a lot of work to do tomorrow, especially but, uh... if people are going to start coming to the house. So I'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, what's going on with you and Tom? You haven't talked much about it? I don't know. He was so sweet and romantic that one time. And then the next day, he was... Uh, he was like a completely different person. Uh, he's probably just nervous. You should give him a chance. Find out what he's really like. Uh, I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> You're the relationship guru. Oh, am I? Yeah, what do you think? Well, he makes you laugh, right? That's the most important thing, I think, to find humor in any situation. But you also want someone who's going to be serious and helpful when you need them to be. You know, someone who will listen to you actively. Actively? Actively. According to all the women's magazines, active listening is what you really need from your man. Good to know. You're welcome. But honestly, to have a serious, lasting relationship, you just need to be good friends first. You know, you need to connect on that base level. Like, it's more than a romantic relationship. You enjoy spending time together no matter what you're doing. And you have a rhythm. Like you've known each other forever. And you have that with Rich? Uh, I'm not talking about anyone specific. I gotta go. Uh, these are for you. <laughs> Thanks. 
You're welcome. Hey, looking good. Oh, thanks. People are coming by tomorrow, and I don't want the paint to be wet. Will it be done by then? Yeah, it'll be good as new. Great. And be sure to put everything away when you're done. The place needs to be spotless. I'm going to go check on the other rooms. OK. Getting rid of the evidence. What? The step that broke. I mean, it was going to take you to court, file a lawsuit over foul play of zombies resulting in injury, but Bethany can't do that now. I guess not. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to focus so I can get this done. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey. Been working hard over there. Huh. Doing what I can. Yeah, well, you are a very sweet guy. Hey, Mom, would you say you're in a good mood? You seem like you're in a good mood. <clears throat> I, um... I saw Edith. I invited her to your party. When I go back to New York, you're going to be in our house all alone again. And I just think maybe it would be good for you to talk to Edith. Please. For your one and only adoring son. <laughs> I might just happen to have her number right here. Facing front gets beautiful sunsets. So, how many bedrooms is it? Three bedrooms, three full baths, and an additional office with half bath. Mm. Now, I like the location, but it's kind of a teardown, don't you think? Yeah, we could gut the place. <sighs> and finally, the garden has been restored yep. and it has a brand new fence. All right. Please let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for coming by. Thank you. Will do. Mm -hmm. you. I love it. And the school district. I mean, Everyone gone? That was the last family. It's been quite a day. Well, thank you for all your work. You can thank me when I've sold the place. But there were quite a few interested parties. I wouldn't be surprised if we had an offer in the next couple of days. You think it'll be that quick? We'll see. You never know. Hopefully it'll be that sweet couple who's starting a family. They'd be perfect for this place. Oh. Hi. I, I heard that you spoke to my son. I, I was surprised to see him. He stopped by to give me an invitation for your party. Oh, good, good, good. I, I thought that it would be really great if you could join us. <laughs> Is that all? What do you mean? Susan? <laughs> I just can't forget what happened. And I can't pretend that everything's fine. Well, I can't really apologize for having fallen in love, Edie. I wasn't still in love with Mel. It was never about him. You know what? I, I don't want to do this again with you. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry I called. Yeah, well, so am I.
Oh, wow, you look great. Um, I mean, you are dressed really nicely. Just thought it'd be better than jeans and a t-shirt. Yeah. Is it too much? Should I no, change? no, 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 it's perfect. You look really good. Okay, um, are you ready? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Feel a little bit awkward. Oh, don't. It's fine. Let me just do a test shot real quickly. All right. I was, uh, what should I do? You should, <laughs> just, first of all, breathe. Uh, okay, get your all right. chakras aligned. I don't like being photographed, so I know, that's it's, not okay. but don't even think about the camera. All right. Okay? So just we're having a conversation, we're hanging out, there's one. That's come on, you gotta warn me first. <laughs> no, I don't. You could just do a remote like that? Great. Not a big Stop. deal. Stop. What I need you to do is sort of cross one eye. Wait. I can't okay, come great. on. Perfect. Put your arms up in the air. There you go. What <laughs> perfect, beautiful. What if I do one with you? Um, okay, come on. And just to loosen you up, we could recreate that picture of us from high school. Yes. Okay, the, all right. With this yes, one? with the, okay. yes, yeah, 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 totally. <clears throat> so, so we're pretty straight up like this? Yeah, but your um, hand is, yeah. Let me see. Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay. On three, you're gonna do the photo? Yeah, ready? Okay. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? You gotta look straight ahead. You can't look at me. <laughs> You're happy. Remember, two. This is my happy face. Three. I'm gonna break it. Yeah, don't break it. I need that for a long time. You smiling? Oh, yes, I am smiling. Okay. Let's do Oh, is this like, prom now? We can do it the other way. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> this is illegal in most countries. You ready? Yes. You take it? Yeah. Oh, no! That's mine. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> hey guys. Hey, hey. Wow, taking some photos. Yeah. They're for Henry's mom. Um yeah, we should be done. We're good, right? Yeah. Uh, I should probably get going. Okay. Uh, um and I'll send those to you on a disc. Got some good ones. That's nice. Oh, that must be Lily with the floral arrangements. So I'm going to go help her out. I think she has a ton. So. Why didn't you come by the shop today? Oh, uh, Henry and I had to take some photos, so I was just setting up. Is everything all right? You got out of it yesterday. Yeah, it's just uh, all moving a little fast. We we're just talking to Henry about something in there. I think that uh, Rich is trying to make sure that things happen even faster. You know, it seems like he doesn't even really care that I'm having a hard time. You know, and Henry is kind of the only one who's listening to me. Is something going on between you two? No. Why, why would you ask that? You're my best friend. You can be honest with me. He's a great guy, you know, and we get along really well, and I enjoy spending my time with him, and I think I might like him a little bit. I already knew that. Henry just gets me. I think that Henry feels the same way. And I don't think that you should ignore that. Hey, um, before you go. What now? I just want to say thank you for all your hard work. Um, it made a big difference. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, and one more thing. There wasn't anything going on out there, right? No. If you're really set on taking the next step with Claire, you should probably trust her. I trust her. I don't trust you. We've been through this already. I do not have any romantic feelings for Claire. She's just an old friend from my childhood, nothing more. As soon as I go back to New York, you'll probably never hear about me again. Okay? Okay. No, hey, can I have my letter back so I can get rid of it? Do I look like a mailman? 
Yeah, I don't just carry your love letter around with me everywhere I go, Henry. Fine, just bring it next time. I'll enjoy them. <laughs> Hey, Lily. Hey. Do you have a minute? What's going on? It's about us. And all those romantic things I said a few days ago. Okay. See, all those things that I said to you, you should know that wasn't really me. What do you mean? I mean, the feelings were me. And the... The meanings behind the words were true, and I was directing it towards you. But I have to admit that I had help. I did notice quite a difference in the way that you presented yourself that night. But why did you think that you needed help? When we first met, you only remembered me because of that time I fainted in biology class. You threw up and then you fainted. <laughs> you, were, you were such a beautiful and amazing person and you were so smart and good with words that I just thought I needed to be smart and, and wordful too to get you to notice me. <laughs> Wordful's not a word. <laughs> I just felt that I had to go above and beyond to get your attention. But that's only because you're worth going above and beyond for. I'll let you get back to work. Um, wait. There you go. Thank you. Hey, hey. honey. Hey. Uh, Bree's here. I have some exciting news. What's going on? There's an offer on the house. That's fantastic. Already? That's the way I work. Darling, look more excited. They're slightly above asking and really eager to own this place. Yeah, I, I just thought I would have a little bit more time to sort things out. Hey, we should, we should go out and celebrate. We should take advantage of this offer, but I won't proceed unless it's 100% what you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, just um, give me the night to think about it. Excellent. No, we just need to talk escrow. <laughs> Great news, dude. Lily likes me. Like likes you or likes you like a friend? She like likes me, dude. By her own free will. Yes, I just told her how I felt and in my own words and it worked. Honesty, it really is the best policy. I think you'd feel better if you told Claire the truth. It's too late. She's already with Rich, and I missed my opportunity. Thanks. Hey, Tom. So, uh, a celebration's in order because we just, we just got an offer on the house. I'm taking everyone out tonight, so. There's an offer already? Yeah, now Claire can finally leave this place and live with me in the big bad city. <laughs> oh, well, let's not go crazy. I, I haven't made my decision yet. Well, it's still great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's perfect. So you guys have to come out with us. Lily's gonna be there. Well, then I'm there. Henry? I don't know if I can make it. I should spend time with my mom. Maybe later then? Please, try to come out. I would love for you to be there. I'll try. Mm-hmm. All right, well, uh, first round's on me, so if you come late, you're paying for yourself. <laughs> That's true. I'll see you later. Bye.
Thank you. Sure. All right. <laughs> Most expensive bottle they had. Oh. Brie must really know what she's doing. Yeah, well, Henry also really fixed it up. How come you didn't help out? Well, I've been busy. Doing what? Trying to impress you. <laughs> and that took you all week? Yes, there's lots going on behind the scenes. Planning, preparation. <laughs> Selling the house. And moving forward. Cheers. 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 You don't have to be here, you know. Why would you say something like that? That's ridiculous, Mom. Because you've been quiet and distracted all night. I'm just tired. Go be with your friends. I would much rather be here. No, your friendships mean so much to you. I know that, or you wouldn't have tried to patch up Edith and I. I was wrong. You shouldn't feel bad about all the things you never told Edith. It was so long ago. Friends change, feelings, they change. People grow apart. You were right, it's best to leave the past in the past. For you the uh photo slideshow for your mom oh this is great thank you i think she's really gonna love it so where were you last night i thought i told you i wouldn't be able to make it yeah but you didn't even return my texts oh sorry i've just been busy and i didn't think that it would matter if i was there or not But <laughs> I thought we were friends. We are. But what difference does one night make? I mean, let's be honest. We went years without even talking to each other. I thought we were getting closer. Was I wrong about that? No. Last night was a big deal for me. You know, I might be selling the house and it's scary. It shouldn't be. I mean, I know that it's easy to you know, hold on to the past, but things change. It's a part of life. You just need to let go and move on. Even if it's scary, even if it hurts. You sound like Rich. Oh, I think he's right on this one. Uh, I really need to get this done, I'm sorry. Okay. I'll see you at the party. Hi. So if you agree, we could go to the dance floor. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Well, you don't look a day over 22. Oh, you're a big liar. I try to tell that to my colorist. Your life's funny. mission is to keep these grays in. Oh, <laughs> thank you, honey. Good thank thank you, you so much. Good to see you, Steve. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. You have always been the sweetest kid on the planet, as you always were. The perfect party for the perfect mom. Yeah, we'll <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. <laughs> 
Um, what is she doing here? Thank you, thank you. I don't know how they're going to pull it off. You didn't call her again? No. You didn't call no. her? I didn't think she was going to show. Go talk to her. Nice to see you here. Didn't like the way we left things. Me neither. Uh, do you want to go and talk? Sure. I thought you wouldn't agree to see me, so I figured I'd come to tell you one person. Tell me what? How I feel about all of this. <laughs> Susie, I am so sad about what's happening with our friendship. You know, Edie, I didn't invite you to the wedding because I thought it would hurt you. I knew how much it upset you that I was with Mel, and that, that killed me. But do you know how much I wanted you there that day? Never wanted to stand in the way of your happiness. I mean, it was just, it was just hard. For that, I'm sorry. No, I should have been more respectful of your feelings. You were just in love. <laughs> <laughs> and look at what it brought you. And it's so much better that you're here. Okay. <laughs> now I know you brought me a present. Mm. You did, I saw it. No. <laughs> yes, I did. Did. <laughs> That's great. Oh, hey guys. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't too far of a commute. Actually, I'm gonna grab a drink. You want anything? Ah, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good right now. Thanks. Okay. Do you have one? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry I didn't come out last night. Oh, no need to apologize. You were right. I've decided to take the offer. Oh, really? You're going to sell? Yep. So, you know, we can just forget about it. Water under the bridge. Uh, where's your mom? I, I should say happy birthday. Hey, she's over there. Okay. Fraternity, remember? <laughs> oh. Susan, hey. hey. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thanks, honey. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice hats. Yeah, right? What do you think? Aren't those ones from the picture? They are the hats from the picture. I think we could get away with, you know, wearing these. To a royal wedding. To a royal wedding. Glad you made it. Me too. We've been catching up on everything. She's been telling me all about her husband and her kids and her grandkids. I love that you can still lose track of time just hanging out. Well, we haven't talked in a long while, but we did have a way of losing track of time, <laughs> oh, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, we oh. did. And had we just been honest with each other all those years ago, we wouldn't have all this catching up to do right now. Yeah, glad you're here. Me too. Well, uh, I'm gonna gather up all the troops. Time to give Mom her present. Yes. There's more? Oh, mm -hmm. there's more. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, first, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. It means a lot to both of us. I wouldn't be the man that I am today without the love and support of my mom. So this party tonight is not just a birthday celebration, it's a thank you. So thank you, Mom. I love you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I also want to thank someone else who made this party possible, Claire Goodster. Claire's the one who suggested <laughs> that we have a theme. And the theme tonight is memories.
money well spent. <laughs>
You should talk to her. What? You should talk to her. You should go talk to Claire. You can't just keep this bottled up anymore. Wait, how do you know how I feel about Claire? Well, honey, I'm your mother. Happy birthday. Thanks, sweetheart. Um, I love you. I love you. Go get her. Hey. Rich, what did I tell you? I told you to stay out of the way. What are you talking about? She just broke up with me. Is that what you want? Are you happy? You pushed her away. There's nothing that I could have said or did that would have done that. But I did lie about one thing. She's not just a friend to me. I love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I knew that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back, yeah. up, back up, hey. back up, back up, back up. Are you okay? Yeah. Where's Claire? Said she wanted to be alone. Need time to clear her head. I need to talk to you. What's this? You said that everyone loves presents. So this present's for you. Uh, just read it. Well, why does it smell like trash? Now just read it. <sighs> Dear Claire, I've known you for most of my life. But in all our years of friendship, I haven't been completely honest with you. Since this is the last week of high school, I think it's finally time for me to tell you the truth. I remember the first time that I saw you, down to the smallest detail. It was the day that you moved in next door, and I watched you sit down on the front porch, cheering the movers on. I remember that like it was yesterday. But for some strange reason, I don't remember when I fell in love with you. It's almost like I've always been in love with you, even before we met. And I was just waiting for you to walk into my life. These feelings have always been there. They've never gone away. And I don't think they ever will. I wrote that senior year of high school. But I could have written it today because I feel exactly the same way. Every single word of it. What took you so long? So you're telling me he's been in love with you all this time? Yeah. Ever since high school. Do you want to see the letter? <laughs> yes. It's a little... Oh, oh, um, so sticky. But, um... Tom? What's going on, darling? I can explain. I told you... I told you I wanted you to see me differently, that those words were not mine. You never said that this was Henry Butler to Claire from high school. Um, it's not, listen. How did you do this to me? Get over here. You are so much trouble. So much bức tranh về chú cú này nhá chúng ta sẽ tô chú cú lên màu vàng nhá
Còn chiếc nơ này mình sẽ tô màu hồng Vòng hoa này mình sẽ tô màu xanh nhé Vòng cổ này mình sẽ tô màu tím Chiếc lá này mình sẽ tô màu cam nhé Vậy là mình đã tốt xong rồi. Hẹn gặp các bạn ở video tiếp theo nhé.